Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and we're having some fun tonight. Uh, oh, hold on one second. What were we talking about? Oh, that's right. We're talking about fubbing tonight with the ladies. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you're in for quite a treat. But first, I need a drink in my hand. We got Frida here yes. with some wine. What is this? This is toast to this, mm. and we have strawberry watermelon. Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh, you're going to have to show me all these Alrighty, wines, though. I want to try them all. <laughs> but first, we got to get into this fubbing with my ladies on the couch. So let's get into it. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, let's get into it with my beautiful ladies of the evening on the couch. We've got a first timer, radio and TV personality, Erin Wild. Welcome, welcome. We've got ba Bonke. Hi, Bonke. Okay. Mm. Dr. Dr. Viviana Coles, also on your phone. Y'all are really fubbing me right now. Okay, cool. For if you don't know what fubbing is, Bonke actually did a spectacular video on this, so check it out. You got 20 tickets? Oh yeah. Oh, we ready. DJ Rude on the ones and twos, Embers dancing, Boss Lady got a solo. You already know, I'm gonna cut the up. Oh yeah, Kim Trails, she gonna do that split kick again. Oh yeah. Oh, this was a good time, I wasn't doing nothing. August 18th, downtown. I'm telling you, it's like a Vegas show, it's like Broadway, this shit is super lit. Tickets almost sold out, we got like two sections left, so if you're trying to you trying to pull up. Yeah. Yes. Are you serious? Afro Drip is going to be in the building? Seven. Seven CST, not African time. <laughs> yes, yeah, Tom No, we got ballet, so you don't got to worry about parking. Yeah, we're some sexy, but you need to be able to dance. So leave your stripper heels at home. I bet. See you there. B. I think we are drifting apart. No, 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 listen to me. Every time I've been trying to get your attention, it's cabaret this, Afro drip that, and ember this. What about my needs? No, babe, no, 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 no. You are, see, we, you are not just going to diffuse the whole situation like that. You have to make a choice right now. It's either me or your cabaret show. Oh, God. Hey. I'm the one who searches. I'm the one who searches. Uh, decisions were made. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, but you were fubbing him the entire time. Was I? Was he interrupting? <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm the real victim. Okay. Yeah, the phone and I have a relationship, and, you know, he wanted to be a thorple, but clearly that didn't work. No, it did not yeah. work. Because, I mean, he wasn't making you choose between your phone and him. He was making you choose between your business and him, which is... Two different things. And the phone conducts business. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So basically, what is fubbing, Dr. Viviana, mm. for people right. who don't know? It's phone snubbing. And look, I'm guilty, so I feel personally attacked that y'all invited me here <laughs> and outing me. But absolutely, you're right. I, I think that the trap that I know I fall into is that there's a lot of business that's being conducted online, especially on social media. And guess what? Social media is addictive, and it makes you just want to scroll and scroll and scroll. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, checking an email is not just checking an email. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Erin, do you fall into this trap? I have been fubbed a time or two. <laughs> By my husband, so uh -huh. it, I, I'm bad on my phone, you know, radio, TV, social media, mm. it's all right there, but I have actually set aside a time to where I'm going to do it, because I have to do it, but I want to make sure, because my husband, I have asked him a question, and he'll be on his phone, not even responding to me, and then, you know, because I've talked about it before, mm. like, you were really ignoring me for your phone, so now, like, it just makes me so mad, I'll just, well, I'm not even answering asking the question again, you know, like, or get up and walk away or get up and get off the couch. So it has made me aware of, I don't want to do that in, to anybody. Mm. So as much business as I do have to do on the phone, like if I'm like, okay, I got to make this TikTok and I've got to get it up. So don't talk to me right now. I'm not ignoring you, but I've got to do this. Yeah. See, I get snappy because mm. like I'll get lost. Like if I got to focus on something, I'm engaged in a conversation with my husband. We're talking all all good, and then all of a sudden I get an email or something, and then I'm reading it, and he asks a question. Mm. I'm just like, hold on, mm -hmm. and he hates that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would hate it too. Like, what do you mean, hold on? We're literally in the middle of a conversation, and uh -huh. you're over here fubbing so me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what's even worse now is that 
we have our phones on while we're watching TV. And my laptop's on the side. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, honey. Yeah, I mean, you at home right now, you probably have your tablet on, your phone on. You call them out. Gotta, call them out. You right. got them all on, <laughs> right. don't you? Look how at me. You Hi, I'm right here. Look at us. We're beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, so how, how much does this hurt relationships? Obviously, you're, you got upset with yeah, your Yeah, I think husband. that it like, is a real problem. I, you know, I've heard people say that they were talking about getting divorces before mm. over it because they feel like that whoever is in that phone, whatever is in that phone is more important. And I know, you know, like late at night and you're watching TV, if you're alone, you already feel lonely. But mm. when you talk to that person you're mm. with who's supposed to love you and mm. they, you don't talk back, Feeling lonely with somebody mm. is kind of a worse thing. And especially somebody who's supposed to be your partner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. tough enough to communicate when you're eye to eye and you're right here yeah. and you're present. But there's really no shot. I mean, I have to be honest. There's no shot of doing that when you have devices, when you have really, are, are they, is it that important? Right. Are the notifications, do they always have to be at zero? Some of y'all out there are saying, yes, absolutely. And they have to be serious. They don't. They don't. Because how important is the conversation that you're having? Mm, I mean, yeah. every conversation is not important, right? <laughs> okay, so which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the one on the phone? Are you no, talking about the real life one? The real life one. one. The, real, the, <laughs> the one IRL. <laughs> IRL. Right. She's right. digging in her heels. Because how much quality of time do you need, right? I think sometimes people think. How much quality time do you I think they think quantity need? where you could have 15 minutes, 20 minutes when you're really zoned in, but expecting that for prolonged periods of time with the way our attention spans are set up, I think it comes down it's to what sharp. are you doing on the phone? Now, if you were somebody's DM, then obviously that's a problem. Mm. But if you're like a stockbroker and you bring, be on that, be, baby, be, <laughs> be on, on that, that phone. phone, okay? <laughs> yeah, like I don't think my husband even knows he's doing it, you know? He'll just mm. be watching something funny on TikTok, not even paying attention. Mm. Now, he was an officer, a, a cop, for 28 years, so I know there would be important stuff he'd have yeah. to do on his phone, so it wouldn't bother me. But, yeah, I think he just scrolls because he's bored, like so many people do. Yeah. Mm. But... Or yeah. self-care because he was on duty for 27 years. So and now, now TikTok is like the funny Look at Bonnie <laughs> coming in the defense <laughs> of my like, parents. Do husband. I want to high five you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Will I? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, can we do this instead? Cheers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Toast to this. Toast to this. Why? <laughs> okay, so you said you actually set, some, set apart some time. I so do. So how did you condition yourself to do that? And what exactly do you do? So like with radio and TV and knowing that I have to have this out at this time or I just mm. did this and I have to do that or when I get there, I'm gonna have to do that. So I will just set aside that time before and I gotta do mm. after and you know, my husband now retired, it's great because he can drive me to where I need to go. So I'll be like, not ignoring you, I need to put this together right now. I need to do this on my phone right now. And then, you know, with, with I have older kids now and now a younger kid, so now I can see how mm how bad I did it to them mm -hmm. when they were younger and I want to do better and be better now right. and be more present. Mm -hmm. So I've just become aware of it and, and made it throughout my day like it, there's going to be times for it. But right. you have a four-year-old, so you were not, he wasn't fubbing then, right? <laughs> oh, he wasn't he, like. He doesn't always fub. It's oh. just, you know, it's just the few questions sometimes that you will mm -hmm. ask and you sit there and they're still in their phone to where I'm like, ooh. Ouch. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't even want to say put the phone down because now, now my feelings are too hurt, you know? Yeah. And I just don't want to make anybody feel like that. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, we got to talk a little bit more about that because it's not just in our, our romantic relationships. Mm. No. It's also with friends, For kids, sure. kids parents, everyone, kids. and even at work. Mm -hmm. All right, you stay right there. The conversation continues when we come back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about fubbing, which is ignoring the people around you with your phone, snubbing them. We've got Aaron Wilde, we've got Banke, the author, and we've got Dr. Viviana Coles. All right, you brought up doing it to the kids. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't just do it to our romantic partners. We do it to family members, to friends. What should we be doing instead? Well, as a chronic fubber, I can tell you I have tried to implement some new systems. So okay. my home screen does not have my typical like black hole of apps. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. it doesn't have the social media apps on the home screen. Cause once I start hitting on one, it just goes and goes and yeah. goes. So I've done that. I think it's also really important to be a good example mm -hmm. when possible. So mm -hmm. keep some time sacred. Mm -hmm. You know, I know like in my family, it doesn't work for everyone, but once, up until we order food at a restaurant, you can be on your phones. After that, 
you're off your phones, we're mm. connecting. Mm. Up until you order. Wow. Yeah. I can say up until the food comes. <laughs> that's a good 10 minutes. See, I don't want it at Yikes. the dinner table. At all? No. Mm -mm. Really? Not at all. Is, no. that, is that a rule in your home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I try to make it a rule in restaurants too, but you know, some of the kids and the husband will get sidetracked and check it. But when you look around at restaurants right now, if you actually set Everybody. your phone down, you will notice. Everybody's like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are one of the only ones not lost that's in true. your phone. And yeah. it, it just breaks my heart. Yeah. I know I, I was guilty. You know, I've got the four-year-old, but I also have like a 25-year-old. And I was guilty of being at the pool one time. And I looked up, all the kids were playing and every mom was on her phone. And I'm like, how dangerous and mm. terrible mm. is this? Yes. That was one of the biggest things that made me become aware of just being present. But yeah. phones are an addiction, you know? Yeah. They really truly are an That's addiction That's why I don't have kids days. or pets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got your phone. Nobody's going to die on your phone. That's their business. <laughs> it's like, I'm, my, my kid is my phone. Okay, I'm giving That's it all it. the attention and yeah. love it needs, phone, right? right? <laughs> But I guess I think it's harder for at least the four of us. We're aware of how important social media is yeah. for yeah. our jobs. It is. So we have to be on it, right? To look at the trends, to be engaged, because the more sure. engaged, mm -hmm. the more you are on the algorithm, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And you have to create content. Mm -hmm. Right. So how? Yeah, it is part of your job description now. You mm -hmm. know, and I preach that at the radio and, and TV and, and different things I do. So that's why I, I'm not bringing my job home and sitting down on the couch and watching TV, you know, so that's why I, I take that time, whether it's going to be at work or before work mm. or these mm. different times and just make that time for it. In the and, morning, yeah. I'm up before everybody and I'm doing what I need to do on my phone. Oh, God. Well, Aaron well, over here has that. got it down. I know. <laughs> it you. took me a while. <laughs> I think because I'm seeing clients from all over the states, I feel like there's it's, it's tough to set office hours mm. because what Some works in California zones. doesn't work for New York. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I, I mean, that's what having a great team can help me with. But at the same time, customer service. I mean, mm. yeah. and being available for media, for that's you know true. interviews. You never know when, when something's going to hit. And it often happens in your DMs. Those are the kind of DMs I like. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 they're good DMs. <laughs> or like random text messages like, hey, what do I got to bring tomorrow? And it's like, oh, snap, I'm in the middle of dinner. I got to answer this because I have a guest coming on and needs info. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why, because I get the temptation. That's why I keep, no, I'm just not even sitting at the table with me. And yeah. then you accept whatever you may have missed. And mm -hmm. I guess you have a bigger faith, which I understand, right? That whatever was supposed to be still will, even when you get right. back mm -hmm. to the phone. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did yeah. a photo shoot just a few days ago, and he's like, I'll work on these tonight. No, no, I won't email him when I'm done because it'll be in the middle of the night. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I'm, mm. You're not going to wake me up. My phone is silenced in the middle mm. of the night. When, yeah. when I get to my email, mm. I'll see him. You right. Email him whenever you want. Mm. Doesn't mean I'm going to respond right. right away. All right, are you ladies wait, ready to play a little game? Always. Yes. All right. Well, when we come back, it's game night. To see how big of a fubber we actually are. <laughs> you stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about fubbing with my girls, Erin Wilde, Banke, the author, and Dr. Viviana Coles. And now it's time for Game Night! Okay, just to see how bad of a fubber you really are. I already know who's gonna win this. But if you are guilty of whatever I say, you gotta drink, all right? Ready? Ready. First up, do you check your phone every Time it rings, even if you're in the middle of a conversation. Erin, you don't? No, not every time. Many times, but no. Wow. Wow. She's work on, I have to work on it now. You don't even like <laughs> flip it, like just to. You see. don't glance. You know, my phone is always on silence, and I usually have it turned down so it doesn't distract oh me. Oh my gosh, give her the award she yeah, I know, right? Like, give that's her the it. bottle of wine. <laughs> she, she, hey, see, if a guy take it like that, like, why you got your phone flipped the other way? And see, what that's what my to? husband said. Mm -hmm. When you turn your phone like that, it usually means you're trying to hide something, but he, he knows now. Like, right. I, I'm trying not to be distracted by it. Wow. All right, well, we know wow. who's winning this game. All right, <laughs> right, next up. Do you take your phone everywhere you go, including the bathroom? I, I don't, I've stopped taking it to the bathroom. Oh, so yeah, that, yeah, both better than us now. I yeah. see what's happening. Well, they say that phones we are do. dirtier than a toilet seat because mm. we go to the bathroom with them. Mm. Mm. You know, 
like germs. Mm -hmm. I, I even have, hands, I, ha I make sure that all of my pajama pants and my leggings have what? a pocket. Yeah. That's yeah. Preparation. Yeah. That's good. I'm Cheers interested in leggings with <laughs> yeah, pockets, I mean, though. So. <laughs> Producer Hobby's like, you're not going, uh, if you're going to go number two, and you want to, like, scroll Instagram. I'm, you guys <laughs> I'm not taking calls, hands. and I'm, uh, I can't say I'm not texting. I'm not taking <laughs> calls. That is weird. Yeah. That's weird. You, I, I travel a lot, and the people in the airport restroom next to me are having full-on conversations. I'm like, I'm about to flush. And they don't care. Uh, Javi and I have talked on the phone <laughs> while in the shower. See? What? That's love. That's commitment. That's, That's producer. dangerous. Producer Javi will definitely be like, I'm in the shower, Cato. Like, it's all good, baby. It's all gravy. We guilty. Guilty as charged there. I'll drink for you. Okay, what's up next? No matter what you're doing when you're out and about, do you have your phone? Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I mean, no matter what I'm doing, if I'm like, what if I want to, you know, suit the ass up out in public, I'm not going to have my phone with me, you know, because you never know, NSA might be listening. So there it's are like, a I don't few always times. have my kid with me. Right, exactly. You got to leave, yeah. yeah. leave the phone. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Throw that ass in a circle, no phone in <laughs> no sight. No phone in sight. Okay, right. I love it. Okay. Okay, next up. When you are lying down with a partner, okay. is your phone next to you, whether you're waking up, falling asleep? Depends on the partner. Mm -hmm. Does it count if it's just plugged in beside you? On your it's nearby. Night. No, it's got. You got to be looking at it. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, it. oh. Mm -hmm. During, before, after. When you're falling asleep. Oh. Depends. If you're on your phone. <gasps> Wait, yeah. If what, are you telling me during sex? Are you no. asking during sex? She's freaking. No. She's recording. No. She's no. recording. <laughs> you, I, I have read that people actually do that. I'm That's reviewing. how, I'm how reviewing. bad it's gotten. <laughs> Honey, this, this, that was real good. I'm sending you a text now <laughs> because I might forget. There might be multiple oh. things that I like. Here's what I that like. Good. A real-time review. There you go. Yes. A Yelp. <laughs> All right. Cheers, ladies. Thank cheers. you so Salute. much for talking about fubbing. You know, we've been toasting to this wine, and I gotta go try some Let's more of this because my girl Frida's behind the bar, and she's got more of me, more of it, not me. I've been drinking. <laughs> more of it for me to try. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the nightcap. We're done talking about fubbing because it's now time to talk about this wine, baby. And I'm behind the bar now with my girl Frida. And you're here to do what, baby? Back that glass up! Oh, yes. I'm ready to toast to this. Yes. Toast to this wine. Toast to this. OK, so I've been enjoying which of the three wines you brought to Yes, so you have been enjoying the strawberry watermelon. Mm. And yes. I have been enjoying this. You've filled this up multiple times during the show yes. today. Toast Cheers. Toast to this. Cheers. Yes, toast to this. Mm -hmm. OK, so tell us about toast to this. Well, How did you come up with this? I mean, it's flavorful. Yes, well, toast to this is something I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, uh, before the daiquiri business. Um, it's just something I wanted to do to create like generational wealth for my son. Hello. And, you know, pass it down from generation to generation, of course. And um, I've just been working so hard oh, for the past couple of years to uh, get this out. So uh, it just embodies this smooth and bold flavors of mm. fresh fruit. And um, yeah. And, and I mean, we know you from Daiquiri Trap. If yes, you didn't Daiquiri watch the, the Daiquiri Hop, go watch it. Yes. But why wine? Well, I mean, what better way? Why not? Why not? Why not wine? Right. Okay, why not? you're right. I mean, I want to try this next one. Come on. Yeah, so we have the pink rose. This is more of a like sweeter versus mm -hmm. the tart kind of with the strawberry watermelon. Let's get you in there real quick. A little tasty taste. There yeah. we go. All okay. Right. Let's see, so what should, what should I be enjoying here? Well, that is a nice blend of some amazing grapes. Oh. Yes. Hello. Yes. yes this is, it's, it's sweet. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's not too sweet, but it is a little strong. Have a little kick to it. Oh, slow down. Oh. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, you're right. But yes, it's really. Okay, you know, yeah, no, this is something I want to enjoy by the pool. Yes. Okay. Nice and, and, and smooth. It's smooth. It's fruitful. It's bold. Bold and beautiful, sweet, but Just not like too you. sweet. Yes. Oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> I try. And I mean, you say it's got a lot more alcohol. Though, it does. But it has a uh, 14% of alcohol. I do not feel 
like this. I feel like this one has more alcohol. Oh, that one as far as has, the flavor goes. Yes. And this one has less. Yes, it has 11%. That's how you know this one is dangerous. And yeah, it's going to gonna sneak up on you, so you might want to take your okay, time. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, pour me up the next one. What's yeah, this so next we one? have a Texas peach here. Mm -hmm. Let me get that going for you. Okay. And so people who are interested, yes, where you can, can they come get this? You can find, well, I'm on Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, Toast to This 21. Um, the website is under construction right now. Mm. But if you go ahead and follow the page and, you know, I update it as often as possible. And stay tuned. Mm. Yes. More things coming. Oh, this is this is delicious. Thank you, thank you. That mm -mm. was ten percent of alcohol in that one. Okay, I mean it's just alcohol all over yeah. this place. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, the ladies, the ladies, <laughs> want some yes. of these wines. All right, yes. listen, go ahead and share, share, share. Yes. This yes. And yeah. that. Hello, <laughs> this and that, oh, thank and then phones. Put down the phone, okay? Pick up the wine and pick up the wine. Why not? Cheers to y'all. I hope you had fun. We'll see you guys next time. Uh -uh.